Hi, Scorpio. Welcome back. So, Scorpio, this is your mid-month check-in for June. This energy is going to run mid-month all the way through the end of June, early July. Um, this is a you versus them spread, Scorpio. So, I'm going to pull cards on you, what your hopes, fears, next steps are. Then I'm going to pull cards on the person you're dealing with, their hopes, fears, and next steps. Um, the person external to you can be anybody in your life. It could be an intimate partner, an ex, a family member, a friend, whoever this resonates with. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I probably should edit this out, but I just had a cardinal, like a bright red cardinal. <laughs> I was going to try and turn the camera so you could see it. Um, just like come and stare at me while flying out of my window. That was really bizarre. <laughs> I hope you didn't click off yet. If it comes back, I'm going to hurry up and turn the camera around because there's a, a window here. But that was crazy. <laughs> back to you, Scorpio. Um, anyways, uh, take it as it resonates. Um, could be with anybody in your life. Um, it, and if you haven't yet, please do like, share, and subscribe, um, and uh, check out my social media account links down below, okay? So overall energy for the remainder of June is the Nine of Pentacles, um, which I, I like that energy. It talks about being comfortable with who you are, being comfortable in your skin, being in a very independent type of energy. Some of you might be uh, really focused on your security in particular, so we'll see. Some of you literally might be single or thinking about being single. So it's going to be different for all of you. We'll get out all the cards and see what we got. So Scorpio. <laughs> um, overall energy for you this month or the rest of this month is the Seven of Wands. Now in the traditional Tarot, the Seven of Wands is somewhat of a defensive energy. So you might be a little bit on the defense right now. But in this depiction, it's a little bit different. It's someone letting down their guard. So you literally might have let down your guard with someone that you shouldn't have, uh, whether that be in the past or present, okay? But for some reason, that's kind of the reverberating overall energy. So that'll be an important message uh, as I get more cards out. The person you're dealing with is the Sun card. Hey, could literally be dealing with a Leo. Um, if not, then the person you're dealing with is in um, a very optimistic type of energy. Okay, if it's not a Leo. Um, they may be... This person might be childlike. I've never gotten that message from this card before, but... That's what I'm getting. Like they may have a very youthful like energy about them or they're very um, childlike. <laughs> that could be good or bad. We'll get all the cards out to see what that's about. Interesting start. Okay. Um, how you view this person external to you, Scorpio. How you view the person external to you. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo. Um, but not all of you. You view them as the sun. So in their overall energy, they got the sun. You view them as the sun. Same card, different deck, same meaning. Uh, interesting. So some of you, like I said, was definitely dealing with a Leo. Um, others of you, this is just the way you view the person. Certainly not all of you are dealing with the sign of Leo. Um, and how you view this person regardless, it is both a mixture of wanting to manifest happiness with this person, but also feeling like they're manipulative or can be manipulative at times. It's like at times you feel very comfortable with this person, like they could be very loving towards you. And, and other times they can be pretty the opposite, the total opposite of that. Um, so I'll have to get more clarification on the magician and I will clarify all of these and get super detailed, uh, towards the end, but I'm going to keep it general to start with. So how this person views you. 
so side note, I don't know what uh, red cardinals are signs of, but this is the second time I've been on video that one has made its appearance known. So for some of you, that's an important message. Um, so look that up. It was a red cardinal. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. Bottom of the deck. Strength card. <laughs> also, Leo. Um, <laughs> this is a very strong message here. This person views you as the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Not the best energy. Um, this person views you as focused on a loss. Confused, not really sure which direction, or, or it's like they view you as either this person is regretful, Scorpio, or you are. Someone might have been keeping more than one option open for a few of you if this is intimate love. For others of you, um, I feel like there's a lot of confusion surrounding. I don't think they know what you feel, honestly. I think this person is confused. I don't think they can pinpoint exactly maybe where your heart is. Um, and that could be why you view them in two very different lights. You know what I'm saying? Like, they may be trying to constantly change up the tactic with you to try and get a more clearer picture of maybe what's going on in your emotions. Okay. Also, keep in mind, because it's general, these messages can be interchangeable. So you might be doing this to them. We'll see. Towards the end of June, what can you expect? Scorpio. Wow. Scorpio. End of June. Okay, so you have the Three of Cups and then the Hermit. So, sorry, I'm trying to cover up the nudity. It's um, the sexual tarot, if you're not familiar. So, Three of Cups and the Hermit always speak to me. The Hermit is someone who keeps things to themselves. Some of you want a reconciliation with this person, but you may not be communicating that to them. Um, if, you know, if, if this is intimate, or really even family or friends. And why? Because either you left this person out in the cold or they you. Um, for others of you, particularly if this is a Virgo, you will be coming together towards the end of the month. Okay. That's only if you're dealing with a Virgo. And like I said, for the rest of you, there's an energy of coming back together or reconciliation here, but I'm a little cautious to say that because the hermit is here and the hermit is someone that is you know, isn't expressing how they feel. They're in a very contemplative state. And I do feel that's your energy, Scorpio. So you might be like carefully calculating the risk I heard or weighing the situation out in your mind. Um, so yeah, I'll get clarification here in a minute. <laughs> Person you're dealing with. End of the month. Oh, you had a card fly out, and I don't know where it went. Hold on. Person Scorpio is dealing with. Oh my gosh, lots of repeating messages here. So, at the end of the month, they have the Magician. You had the magician in how you see them. Same card, different deck. Okay, so now you both have the sun as well. 
And they also have the Ace of Cups. This person loves you. Okay, there's a lot of emotion here. They're in love with you. Um, and I think that they want to uh, manifest something with you, make it right. Um, yeah, or if you're currently with this person, they're on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool. So there's something underlying here. This is surface level, okay? But I feel that there is something not being spoken about. And so I'm going to clarify these and see where that energy is coming from. <clears throat> and then I'm going to break it down even more, okay? Tell me about the sun card. And the magician. I can't, I, this is, I've gotten another repeating card. I have the Four of Swords here and the Four of Swords again. Remember I said there's something else here. There's something not being talked about. So that's further confirmation there. It's the Hermit. That's the Three of Cups. So five of cups. Woo. I just heard a missed opportunity. And when I say heard, what I mean by that is that's the thoughts that are flashing through my mind. Okay, somebody asked me that the other day. Like that's what's popping into my mind as the cards come out, okay? There's the seven of cups. Yeah. Okay. This is actually coming together pretty easily. Mm -hmm. One more on the magician. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry, I wanted to clarify a lot of them. Scorpio, let me get a little more specific now, okay? Specific. <laughs> Your overall energy was the Seven of Wands, which was feeling defensive. And remember I said that I feel like the reason is, is that you were taken off guard in the past. Like something that you thought that was going to bring you like complete fulfillment didn't, okay? Um, and so I feel like that's where the defensive energy is coming from now. Okay. Um, and I, I've been seeing like the same message in your readings over and over and over again. Now, this person that you're dealing with is the sun card, the world and the 10 of wands. I think that this person has a very happy exterior. That might be the face they show to the world. And like I said, I get a very innocent, naive type of energy here. But underneath of that, what is there? There's the world and the Ten of Wands. This is heaviness. This is heaviness. Okay, this is someone who um, doesn't exactly learn their lesson. Okay, this is someone who repeats a lot of the same or similar mistakes. And or you might have had... Uh, repetitive issues or lessons within the relationship with this person and that's burdensome to them but I don't feel like that's what they show the world this is what they show the world okay or they are in June I should say mid-June to the end of June now and how you view them remember I said there's two different ways that you view them um, one it's like you see very clearly you see very clearly who this person is. You know, I, you have clarity here. 
Um, and, and I feel like there is a sense of moving on here. And this isn't how you view them. This person might literally be moving on with you, moving on away from you. We'll see. Let's clarify that one. Oh my gosh. The strength card. They might have moved on with a Leo. You might have moved on with a Leo. Or somehow there's a Leo involved here. There's a Leo involved here, period. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried to avoid it, but I have I have four four cards of Leo out, all different decks. So some of you have Leo somewhere in your birth chart, or you're dealing with someone with Leo in their birth chart, or they're literally a Leo son. Okay, uh, male or female doesn't really matter. Um, most definitely, I would say a large majority of you watching this somehow involves that sign. If not, this could very well last like this energy could very well reverberate into uh Leo season, which is towards the end of July. Okay, so this might be much longer than the end of June. This message. Come back and let me know. Either way, that's what I see here. This is how you view them. You might have gotten clarity that this person, um, you know, clarity about intentions, true intentions, um, clarity about possible manipulation with this person. Like I said, particularly if it involves, the situation involves Leo or I have a sign of cancer here or both. Um, there's an in and out energy here too. So it's like you, you view this person as, um, being somewhat wishy-washy with you. And I think that's why you have your guard up. Now, and how they view you. They have the king, the Seven of Cups, Knight of Rods. And then the Page of Pentacles was clarifying the Five of Cups. I think they view you as a missed opportunity, Scorpio. You know. I think that this person was confused as well about maybe your intentions. It's, it's funny because you see... <clears throat> Like this person, you have clarity over them, but I don't feel they have clarity over you or what your intentions are. And I, that's the message I had earlier is that I think that um, the reason behind maybe this person's behavior is because they couldn't, they couldn't or they can't figure out like what the underlying emotion is. What is the underlying intention? Um, was it truly a missed opportunity or was it all an illusion? Um, there's a lot of uh, illusion surrounding you and how they view you. Um, so I don't feel like this person can read you very well, at least in the next two weeks, okay? Um, and for some of you, that's purposeful. Like for some of you, I feel like you are keeping your guard up with this person. So you don't want them to know. You don't want them to know. Some of you, you know, you want them to suffer a little bit. <laughs> and I'm not laughing because that's funny. I'm laughing because it's, it's scorpion-like to do that. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't know how to mean that. I have Scorpio in my chart too, so I get it. Like um, teaching this person a lesson. <laughs> you know? Making them think. Now, towards the end of the month, the future energy, Scorpio, I clarified the Three of Cups, I got the Seven of Pentacles. I got the Hermit, and here's the Eight of Swords. 
here's the plot twist, Scorpio. Of course, you're already aware of this if this is resonating with you. Um, you're just as you're you are just as confused internally as this person is. So <laughs> I feel like some of you are not speaking on your emotions, but I do feel you are waiting. You are trying to be patient with the situation. Some of you are waiting secretly to reconcile or pull things together. And you might be heavy in your thoughts about it. You might be heavy in your thoughts about it. Um, but I don't feel it's being discussed. So I think that's what the quiet energy is about. This person too. They have a lot of love here for you. But they're not talking about it. Okay, they're not communicating that. Or if they are, it's um, indirect communication. Does that make sense? Like, they may say one thing when they mean another. They may be somewhat, like, passive-aggressive with it. Um, they may be reading between the lines or wanting you to read between the lines. Because I feel like this person is trying to manifest love. But instead, what they get is heartache. And so it ends on the Knight of Cups wanting to come forward. This person may want to come forward to you. For some of you, they're trying to manipulate the situation so that you will come forward to them. Because this person doesn't know what you're thinking and what you're feeling. And so they may be afraid. And I did get fear in specific, that word in specific. They may be afraid to come forward first or vice versa. You may be afraid to come forward first. Okay. For some of you, there's two very different situations going on. Um, there's the surface level of what you're showing people. Um, and then there's underneath that. So some of you, there's more than one person involved. I have the Three of Cups. There's a third party here for some of you. So there's a small sect of you where this quiet waiting energy is because there's a third person involved. I have the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords. So for a few of you, you might be, that might be why there's such polar opposite energy here. You might be open emotionally and available to one of the partners, okay? And then um, underneath that relationship, and I feel like that relationship is probably going very well. Uh... But underneath that, if for those of you with a third person, there's a waiting here. There's a being stuck in your head. There's hurt. There's a confusion. And I feel like if you're in this group, then the person that you're dealing with, I don't feel the person like... Whoever's in the actual relationship that doesn't have the third party, they're unaware that your brain still goes towards another person or your heart still goes to another person. Or if you're partnered with somebody with a third party, you may be unaware of that, but I don't think so. I think it's the other way around. Why? Because you're the one in the Eight of Swords. That's for the very few of you with the third party involved. Um, you know, that could be interchangeable. So I do want to know uh, either way what the Knight of Cups is. So if this wanted to come out earlier, the Empress. Yeah, some of you have a long-term relationship here. Oh my gosh. 
if you're paired with a Leo and you don't want to get pregnant, <laughs> this is for a very few of you. This gets so specific. I'm sorry. There is a pregnancy vibe here. Okay. Um, so FYI, Scorpio, if you have Leo here or you're dealing with the Leo in some capacity, that energy is here. So caution. Um, but that's not for all of you. Some of you, it's, you're just, you have a long-term relationship here. I always see the Empress as a long-term relationship. Somebody who's confident, somebody who's happy. This is a mothering energy. So Scorpio, this is how you... This is falling in your energy. So if you're a female, this is likely you. If you're a male, you're dealing with a female like this. That's crazy specific and not going to be for all of you. <laughs> and that card just blew out. I really wasn't trying to clarify that one, but I can't deny it. I got the sun out again. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so this person has the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Cups towards the end of the month. And if you remember, the overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles. This person had, you know, I, I just feel this is a very complex situation, regardless of which way you cut it. Okay, whether there's three people involved or not, it doesn't really matter. It's complex and there's too many people here. So it's, it, you know, it's a situationship where there is more than one cook in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? And Scorpio, whoever this is that you're dealing with, um, at towards the end of the month, they uh, very well may make a decision. Even though they love you, I don't, you know, they, they for some reason, feel heartbroken at the end of the month and may decide to go give their love elsewhere or to invest that love within themselves. And I, it could be because you, you know, are not communicating your emotions to this person, so you've given them no choice. Uh, but no, you know, no communication is, commu is communication, right? So saying nothing is saying everything. And I think that if that's what you're doing, this person has taken the hint and they are uh, moving on, okay, or trying to. Um, and for those of you where this is a third party, like I said, you have one, uh, some of you are, have a surface level relationship that looks okay, uh, might be a long-term relationship, but there's something else going on here with the third person. Um, that's being kept quiet, that's being looped on, that's where your brain goes sometimes. Um, it's a very confusing energy, okay? This is a super complex reading, and I would really like to <laughs> make it more less convoluted for you, Scorpio, but I feel the situation is convoluted. Like the issue here is that, you know, nobody is speaking about their true intentions or feelings. Okay. There's a lot of unspoken here. And I feel like, like I said earlier on your part, Scorpio, for most of you, it is purposeful um, because you have your guard up, okay? Even though you want deep down maybe uh, reconciliation or communication here, I don't just see, not for the next two weeks anyways, I don't really see you acting on that. And that leaves this person to like almost, you know, make up in their mind or connect the dots somehow else, you know, connect the dots without communicating, which is a dangerous spot to be in. And I feel like this person is um, not willing to come forward either for most of you. Um, because I feel like they have connected the dots and realized it's time to move on or they already have. 
you know. Because that's what you're making them believe that you want. But I don't feel that's what you actually want. That's what's really messed up. <laughs> so Scorpio, be careful with that. Um, because you might get what you want. Like you might get the result of them not speaking to you because you're not speaking to them or whatever it is that you're trying to get at. But then it may not be like at the end of the day what you actually want. But this person can't read your mind. They clearly can't read it because they're very confused and they can't read your heart. And so they're going to take it for surface level. They're going to take it at surface level. Does that make sense? I don't even know what to call this reading at this point. Very interesting. Oh my gosh. Lots of distractions. Look up the cardinal. That was important. It's also 30 minutes, which is too long. Uh, like I said, I cannot deny that for, I would say, a large majority, there's a Leo involved or you have Leo in your chart somewhere. Uh, it came out one, two, three, four, five times. <laughs> um, but let me see what other zodiac signs I have here. I have a Virgo here. I have Cancer. <clears throat> And I have an air sign here. Um, it could be Aquarius or a Libra or a Gemini. So like I said, there's a lot of people involved into this situation. Um, please do let me know how it resonated for you, Scorpio, either way. Um, thank you for coming back. Please do come back again. I love you so much. And until next time, namaste. Bye.